Even people who accept global warming are saying the so-called green movement is going at the problem all wrong. Here's a clip from Bjorn Lomberg's new film, Cool It. Science has been hijacked by alarmists and the public are given to believe that they are to blame. We start washing our clothes with stones. I'm completely off electronics. Energy efficient light bulb. Recycle more. Drive hybrids. These are great things. By all means, let's do them. But let's not kid ourselves and believe that this is what's going to fix the problem. Even if everyone in the U.S. changed to praises, it would cut only about half a percent of what we need to cut by mid-century. All right, Bjorn Lomberg is the author of The Skeptical Environmentalist. He's got the movie, Cool It, and he's here with us, Varney and Company. Bjorn Lomberg, everybody. Thanks for joining Good to us. See you. Your basic premise is, yes, global warming is real, but almost all of the policies that we've come up to deal with it won't work, don't work, and scare yeah. people. And listen, they haven't worked for the last 20 years. It's not just the Prius's part. By all means, do that, but it's not going to fix anything. But the real point is, we've been promising to cut grand carbon cuts for the last 20 years. They'll cost hundreds of billions of dollars, and it'll reduce temperatures by a minuscule amount by the end of the century. Isn't it time we talked about smarter ways? Okay. Uh, I want to talk about the scare. Yeah. Um, I have young children, and they've been taught in school to be scared to death of this global warming thing. I'm going to run a brief clip of video here. I don't want to concentrate on it for very long. It's the polar bears falling out of the sky. It's gruesome, ugly stuff. Yeah. I, I'm not going to run much of this. But it seems to me that kids are being scared that we are deliberately scaring our children needlessly, and it, it doesn't work. Listen, we, we, ha we go to some kids in the UK that are so scared that this one kid is drawing a planet that's all blue, and he says, it's all water. And I ask him, so where are we going to be? He goes, uh, nowhere. And I ask him, when is this going to happen? It might just happen this afternoon. No, you're going home for scones with your parents this afternoon. And, and the, the idea is, of course, partly this is a terrible loss for these kids, but also the fact that we are scared makes for very bad policy making. You don't make good decisions when you're panicked. We've got a new climate uh, change summit. Uh, it's a matter of weeks away yeah. in Cancun, yeah. Mexico. Yeah. What's going to happen? Nothing. Really? We, I mean, listen, we've been trying this for 18 years. There was something very funny about the way that everybody went to Copenhagen last year and said, now we're going to do the deal for the planet. Of course, nothing ever happened. But what was the reaction? Everybody sort of said, mm, all right, then we'll go to Cancun and make the same deal. And then, you know, when that's going to fail in a couple of weeks, we go to Here, South Real quickly, South the, motiv Africa. the motivation of scientists to accelerate this fear, you know, like a railroad engineer saying that uh, the, the Himalayan, uh, you know, the glaciers, yeah, the glaciers are going to melt by 2020, for example. If, when 2020 comes and they haven't melted, then isn't no. that the point when everybody says, well, you're, you're full of it, I'm no. not going to listen to you anymore. What's the motivation? Because eventually it catches up with them. And Absolutely. Why Listen, you can't scare people for 100 years. And that's why I'm saying we need to get back well, they, and start they, they talking about like they seem like they changed the topic because they have been yeah. scaring us on like we were going to have no food, you know. But, but this is what I, the problem I have with it, a lot of people, the guilt trip. In other words, it's our fault. It's man. Man is doing this. Uh, that's where I think they lose a lot of people. If well, they just I mean, would have said it's a natural cycle and we want to avoid it, I think a lot of people would have. Well, is it us? Is if, it us? Is it human beings? To take your point, yeah. is it human beings who are doing this? I'm, I'm an economist. If you, look, if you ask some of the smartest scientists, even very skeptical scientists like Dick Linson from MIT or uh, Pat Michaels, they tell us global warming is happening and it is man-made. But the point is... It's not the end of the world as it's been sold, and I think partly it scares the kids, it scares us, but it also makes for very bad decision making. You know, the EU is going to spend $250 billion a year for the rest of the century, $20 trillion. The net effect will be to reduce temperatures by 0 0.1 degree Fahrenheit. Ouch. That's ridiculous. Mm. Cool and it. This starts, film is about it, it, cool it. Yeah. It starts today. It does. 125 screens all across the United States. Yeah. Bjorn Lomberg, everybody. Will you come back and see us? Absolutely. We like your style, young man. We Thank like you. it. Okay, thanks.